All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So today I wanted to make a video about the female bodybuilder by the name of Denise Rutkowski. Now, I wanted to make a video about Denise because I made a video about Manfred Horrible a couple weeks ago, the man with the biggest arms from the 1990s. And in that video, I used a photo of Manfred and Denise. And that video got a ton of comments saying that I had to make a video talking about Denise's sad story. Um, because in 2012, there were some viral photos of her um, taken at the police department when she got arrested that just went absolutely viral. And I think it was time to make another video about that because I think, uh, you know, it got covered back in 2012, but I think a lot of people didn't see those videos and a lot of people may have forgotten about it. So Denise was a great bodybuilder from the nineties. Her nickname was the golden Panther. Um, she was five foot five and her competition weight was between 140 and 155 pounds on stage, which is the equivalent of 64 to 70 kilograms. So her pro debut was the 1993 IFBB Jantana Classic, which she won. Um, she turned pro at the 1993 NPC USA's, which she won at the heavyweight division and the overall. Her final show, and probably her most noteworthy show, was the 1993 Miss Olympia, where she placed second. So unfortunately, um, recently the photos that surfaced of Denise are not presenting her in the best light at all. Um, she is known to have a history of drug addiction, Obviously, the history is there with the abuse of hormones and bodybuilding drugs, um, so that's that's in her history as well. And she also has a history of bipolar disorder. She's officially been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. So I wanted to put some photos out there of her from her prime, put out some positive photos of her in this video, because she was an amazing bodybuilder. Pretty much anybody that picked up a bodybuilding magazine in the 1990s, they're familiar with her because she was in the she was in a spread in pretty much every magazine there was. Because as far as female bodybuilders go, she was one of the more attractive female bodybuilders. She she had kind of that blonde bombshell look to her, and I know a lot of people. It's kind of a controversial subject. A lot of people hate female bodybuilders, but a lot of people love them. It's kind of a love it or hate it type of thing. But as far as female bodybuilders go, she was one of the more attractive ones, and she was featured in a lot of magazines at that time period. Um, so that's one of the things that she was really famous for. So I wanted to put some of those photos out there, because these photos from 2012 are are not the greatest photos. She, you know, she's got facial hair growing, her hair is all crazy, um, her eyes look like she's you know high and you know bugging out of her head. Um, so I wanted to put some positive photos out there of her. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's kind of Denise's story. She's been battling drug addiction for a very long time, and then she was arrested in 2012 um, for evading arrest. So that's what these mugshot photos were taken for. Um, the reason that she was originally arrested, that she was evading, that's not really clear at this time, um, but the arrest that she was photographed for was being arrested for evading arrest. Um, so that's what these photos were taken for. So unfortunately, she's obviously had a very bad uh, downward, spiral, downward spiral over the past couple of years, and she kind of ended up like this. So it's sad to see stories like this, but this is the reality of bodybuilding, man. You go from being at the top of the mountain, second place finish at the Olympia, um, to just being a drug addict, you know, looking like that. And it's, it's just really a sad story. And unfortunately, it's all too common in bodybuilding. You know, it doesn't matter if you're a male or a female bodybuilder. You know, the drug addiction thing seems to be a very real aspect of bodybuilding. There seems to be a lot of bodybuilders that end up going down that dark road and, you know, abusing drugs, and a lot of them die of it. Fortunately, as far as I know, uh, Denise has not, she's still alive and she has not died as a result of her drug addiction. But there are many bodybuilders that have, for example, Mike Matarazzo, apparently, Mike Menser towards the end of his life was known as being a heroin abuser um there's a lot of other bodybuilders that have had this problem and died of it so fortunately she is still alive but i think this video needed to be made because drug addiction and bodybuilding seem to go hand in hand for a lot of people with that type of personality so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up nick strength and power signing out